it's 5.40 in the morning. It's kind of hazy. The sun's coming up right now. Being on the trail just over an hour. <clears throat> Only about two miles down or so. It's gonna be a hot one today. 110 at the bottom at least. Well, we're in the part known as the Inner Gorge. And uh, the river's right there. We're not far to go, but there's plenty of switch back and to get there. Into the dark we go. Now crossing the Silva Suspension Bridge. We're on our way back up. It's just 9.15. It's gonna be a hot one. Uh,
looking forward to getting back to the rim. And some ice cream. There's a creek right down there. You can hear the water running through. There it comes out. Not really easy to get down there though. So I gotta wait quite a while until I can get close to water. Uh, I got plenty to drink, but it's nice to soak one shirt in the water. And uh, I don't know what shirt unless it's hot. So below us we have the devil's corkscrew. Um, which is what we're about to hit right now. Now right now, we got a little bit of cloud cover. I'm hoping it stays that way. Um, I did just soak my shirt in my bandana in a creek. So I'm feeling really good right now. Feeling nice and chilled. My bladder water is still, not, not my bladder as inside my body, but the bladder of my backpack is still cool, which is awesome. Hopefully my, uh, Supper will still be cool later, too. <sighs> I don't really notice there's so much coming up, but uh, going down, I can take a little bit more of a look. Doesn't look like there's anybody out here today, which is not surprising because it's so darn hot. Here you can see where water rushes down during the winter. It comes right through here. It's all real dry right now. So, well, water. We're not far now from the river walk. And well the mighty Colorado River. So here we have it, mighty Colorado River, making its way through the Grand Canyon as it does. Right now we're on the river trail, at the last kind of section of Bright Angel before we cross the Silver Bridge, and we're at Bright Angel Campground. So looking forward to that, almost there. Just past a ranger. 
giving some medical attention to some guy. I lay it out on the uh, deck outside the river restroom just back there. Probably suffer from heat exhaustion uh, or dehydration. Hopefully not heat stroke, because otherwise then that's more dangerous than to have to chop her mouth maybe. So I would imagine I don't know how the ranger will stay with them on their walk out at night. Or either go back down to Phantom or uh, if you think she's okay, I'll tell them to race, rest up until dark and then hike out. I guess, but at least the ranger's with the dude. I don't think they needed my help, so uh, we just said hi. Keep on going because it's not far now. So here we are, the Silva Suspension Bridge. River is war roaring. Anyway, just a few minutes ago, the chopper came down, circled, and I guess it spaced the land, maybe down by the beach, by or the river rest house, restroom. And uh, I guess they're gonna chopper that guy out. I haven't seen the chopper take off, so I guess they're making sure he's, he's uh, all set to travel first. And his vital signs are okay. Um, so I, I'm glad someone found him when the ranger was there. Anyway, we're about across the Silver Suspension Bridge. Here we go. Oops. Don't stick your trekking pole in the bridge. Here we go once again. Uh, so this is my campsite, but I've made one major error on this trip. I have not brought my sleeping mat. I don't know how I didn't bring it because I got everything out last night and it obviously wasn't there or otherwise I would have packed it. And I haven't packed it because it wasn't there. So I don't know where it is. Which is really going to suck because I'm too old to sleep on the hard ground.
Don't you love to see in the roaring water? I sure do. Okay, so here's the bridge, and we're soon be at Manzanita. So we've done about eight miles. That's six to go. Right in your creek. Well, we're gonna stop here for a little bit, and we're gonna get water. Uh, take a little bit of a rest. Use the restroom because it's the last restroom in Tusupai, which is uh, over four miles away. So we're going to make good use of the facilities right here and get, get ready for the long, hard up with slog. So, man's a neater. It's a ways to get to there.
That's my advice for today. Don't fall here. It'll hurt. A lot. It's the section I worked. Huh, see where that log is? Sticking out? The trail extended all the way to the end of that log. It used to. I remember having walked it. And uh, this is where the trail is all crumbled away due to the winter weather. There's supposed to be a section further up where it's uh, completely fell away, but they've repaired it. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Oh. <clears throat> section of trail disappeared and uh, work is in progress but I guess today is a day off because trail crews do need days off I wonder if this MPS race don't know I don't want to touch the gear to take a look because it would tell me who it belonged to You can see the trail came up all the way down there. This is the start of the uh, trail to Humphreys Peak, 4.8 miles to get up there somewhere. Well, this is the start of the trail. Now heading into forest. Mostly in shade for most of the hike or in the trees. We're just over 9,300 feet to start, and we have approximately 3,300 to go.
uh, we're getting close to the Weatherford Humphrey Summit Junction. It's 11,000 feet. Uh, it's very windy. And it's only gonna get windier.
about as windy as it was last time I came up here in the snow. Oh man. So this is Tana Trail. I'm actually only filming right now because this is a, a lesser sketchy section of trail. Um, so far, most of it I've had to uh, watch my footing a lot more than I am doing right now. So right now it looks fairly smooth, but it's quite rough in places. This is a, I believe, a primitive trail and it's not maintained. If it was to have a major rock fall or trail collapse, it would get seen to eventually, but it's not a priority, and uh, it's not a maintained trail. Um, it does go all the way down to the river, but you can't cross, but it does join the Tonto Trail, and you can also go all the way up to the confluence of the Old Colorado as well from this trail. I would love to go all the way down, um, but it's not a day hike for the summer. It's quite a long way. I think it's about 10 miles to the bottom. Um, day hike in the cool weather, definitely, for me anyway, um, but not today. Um, as we had to swap out our campsite this morning, couldn't get started early. So we're just going to do about a five hour hike this afternoon and then uh, get back up and uh, get ready for departing for Flagstaff tomorrow. It's very spectacular, which is one of the reasons why I really want to hike this trail one of these days, but maybe next year. So this is a prime example of how this is not a maintained trail. There's a tree down on the trail. Yeah, it's easy to get over. Uh, but if this was Bright Angel, South Kaibab, North Kaibab, it would probably be cleared. Even if it was Hermit or Grandview, it would probably be cleared because it's down here on Tanner. Uh, not a whole lot of people come out here. Uh, it's not being cleared. Looks like it's probably been there a while. But it's easy to get over, so it's probably never going to be cleared. Um, but there we go. So we're going to keep going down. A lot of rock on this trail. Of course it would be, we're in the Grand Canyon. It's full of rock. But uh, a lot of loose rock, full on rock, not great for walking on. So it's fist size ones are the worst because they're like stepping on a baseball and then you fall over. So you want to watch those ones. 
So anyway, this trail's getting sketchy. It's a lot of loose soil there, so we're gonna need our hands. So we're gonna turn off the camera again. Catch you later. Okay, trail goes down there, and then you can see some steps down there. And then it goes along through that rock slide, and then continues over there. So as far as we can see of it right now. Anyway, we're gonna keep heading down. Okay, if you want to sketch here right now, guess where the trail goes? Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Match is fairly obvious it's here. <laughs> but it's uh, not the most well defined. We're not the hardest to find either. <sighs> and we got another great view. I wish we had time to get down much lower, but I don't think we will have. We got nearly an hour left, but I don't think we're gonna get down as low as I'd like. But <sighs> safety comes first. I mean, I could go for longer, but I don't wanna be super late today. Um, so I wanna get up early tomorrow, maybe see the sunset, go for a run. Look at that view. That is just incredible. We really gotta do this whole trail someday. Next summer. We gotta do the Tana Trail. Let's just look down below. It's just spectacular. It's just incredible. It's amazing. It's awesome. about 30 minutes of hiking before we turn around. It's just coming through a short side canyon. Now we're coming up along the edge of it. Which is what we're walking along now. Okay, what you're about to see is amazing. Look at that view. I was not expecting this on the Tana Trail. That is incredible. That is absolutely amazing. Let's zoom in down there. We can keep it steady.
just awesome. It's just a, yeah, I'm lost for words. This is just an amazing spot. I was not expecting this down here. All the way up there. That view is just stunning. It's really, it's really a crawl. It's a little windy today too. Oh man. Well, it's 2.30, so this is about as far as we're going to go on this occasion, but we are going to be back. I can't wait to hike this trail all the way to the river. Now, I just noticed right above us is Desert View Tower. There it is. I wonder if anybody up there can see me down here. That would be cool. I did wave. I don't know if they can see me. There it is. Well, in a few minutes, if we had a rest and some more uh, propel, we shall uh, get back on the trail and head back up. Uh, this has been awesome. <sighs> Trying to capture how steep this trail is is quite difficult because this trail is so steep. Going up, you really notice it. Absolutely is brutal. It's hard to do more than a few feet at a time for him to at least take a standing rest. And you feel your heart beating, it's going like crazy. But uh, I don't think the video is going to do it justice how steep this is. A lot of the times I have to use my hands on this trail, which is why I didn't bother getting the trekking poles out. So I'd have to put them down to use my hands. I think we should be at the top in about 30 minutes. Oh, nice to have some breeze. Oh, I'll see you at the top. why am I cheering only went to sell anyway that's it we are finally back how the tanner try out okay this is the pan point yeah
Ain't nothing like driving through the forest. <clears throat> this is the uh, highway <laughs> road, forest road to uh, the uh, Kendrick Peak Trail at Okay, so this is the trail up to the Kendrick Peak. Uh, I think it's 10,700 feet, something like that. I need to check that. It's a lot smoother trail than Humphreys. There's a lot more views, partly due to fires in the past. Have let the forest a little bit more sparse and spread out. So there's this little log cabin up here. Hmm. It's a ladder inside. Table, brush. Well, here we are on top of Kendrick Peak or Kendrick Mountain at the uh, lookout. And uh, pretty great view. Well over 10,000 feet here, which you can get into, is the uh, lookout down there. It's the outhouse.
over yonder is Mount Humphreys. There it is. All the way over there. Well, I was at the top of that last Thursday. And down we go. This is a red mountain, I guess, because it's really red. I don't know if we can get up, but it's uh, remains of an old volcano. We have climbed up a ways, We're all the way down there, up to here. So we're fairly high now. I'm not sure we're gonna go. What you're about to see is a journey into the depths of Red Mountain. Considering I nearly got hit by a rock a minute ago, this is going to be a short visit, visit in the depths of a mountain. Oh, this is pretty awesome.
driving through the Zion Tunnel. It's about a mile long. It goes right through the canyon. Welcome to Zion Canyon. This is the uh, West Rim Trail. Um, you can't really see the main canyon below, the main part of the canyon below where the road goes because this is part of the canyon. The canyon is bigger than you think. Uh, and we're a long way from there. Uh, but West Rim Trail, great views, and uh, catch you on the trail.
take it slow and steady. Nine o'clock in the morning. Been at it two hours. On what's in it? It's As you can see, some of the trail here is falling away. Good morning. We are hiking along the Wind Forest Trail today. It's been about eight years since we hiked this trail, so we thought we'd do it again. It's a nice trail. It runs along the Transept Canyon, so you do get a lot of good views. And uh, it's uh, 10 miles, although I'll be doing 12 because I didn't, didn't drive to the trail, I had a walk. Um, it's uh, almost 7 a.m. Should be a good day. It's supposed to get up to 91 on the rim today. It's really hot. So, and uh, go up for the rim on the north rim, and I'm glad we're not going to be down below because it's going to be over 120 in Granite Gorge today. So, I'm glad we're up here walking through this nice forest in the shade. Let's go down here and check this out. Reviews.
trail and I'm going to go up there through the trees you should be able to see again in below eventually we get to Whip Horse Point which uh, has fantastic views way out to the canyon so look forward to that Should be a good day's hiking. 12 miles. But you know what that means. Ice cream. Isn't that spectacular? And there's more to come. Just coming up on some great views. Pretty amazing, huh? Well, there you have it, the Grand Canyon from the North Rim with Forest Point. That's the South Rim right over yonder. What a view, huh? Right over yonder is the South Kaibab Trail. And there it is. It's hard to focus on. It's hazy. But that's it there. It's the South Kaibab Trail. So here I am first upon a precipitous drop of hundreds and hundreds. We are on the Point Imperial Trail, 
more Eastwood. We're around 8,800 feet. So we can zoom in on the south rim. quite high in the Grand Canyon. We are at one of its highest points. Just look at that. This is the Point Imperial Trail. So, right now, we are no longer in Grand Canyon National Park. We are outside the park. We have hiked outside the park. So, we're going to see how this is supposed to meet up with the Nankaweep, or however it's pronounced, but I don't know how far that is. Oh, there's a big trail here. Wow. I'll have to take a look on the map in a little while and see where we're at. But right now we're going to walk over to the rim there and see if we can get some good views. So that's where I'm heading. Nankaweep Trail. It's a little windy up here now. Anyways. Let's look at that, that's spectacular. Although this is a well-defined trail, it's a little steep, a little sketchy, because it's very loose underfoot. But here are the views from the trail. That's where I've come, all the way up there. Well, we got a little ways to go until we get to the top of this thing and hopefully the views will be even more amazing. It's a little better view. on the Nankaweep Trail, which what I'd love to do. Um, just 
an issue with no water on this trail. But it's one spectacular view. Well, what a hike. Totally spectacular. Well, let's hit the trail. way up on top of Bell Rock. We have free climbed up here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go higher just because of if it rains, the rocks can be really slick. And I'd like to be able to get down off of here. A lot of trees down in this area. Obviously fell a while ago because the trail is clear. A little further below was not clear. And we had to climb over a lot of trees.
This is just beautiful country up here in the White Mountains. Nothing but meadows and forests. Lonely road. 75 degrees. This is so cool. It's so beautiful up here. It really is. I can't even do it justice by filming the road or even any of the pictures I've been able to take. It's just beautiful.